what the, what the course is designed to do. It's designed to teach you how to solve problems, real, real everyday, real world problems um, with the skills that you learn here. Uh, there's a lot of very practical stuff that we do. Um, we obviously do programming, so we do Java, PHP, uh, a lot of the internet type technologies. That kind of starts off uh, quite slow, um, so you don't need to know any programming experience before you get here. Um, they started from, right from the very basics as what is a variable. Um, but this year, in second year, we're building an agent-based modeling simulation, which is kind of quite high-end uh, from a conceptual um, standpoint. Um, and that's actually our group project for the year. Um, so it varies from starting in with, with pretty much nothing uh, or no knowledge and, uh, and being able to do some pretty advanced modeling um, in, within the technologies. Uh, I've kind of been working very much in business applications and we start talking about things at university like uh, what makes up computing intelligence. Uh, how, do we, how are we as people intelligent? How can we model that stuff? Let's look at psychological theories that, that talk about cognition. Uh, let's talk about, I mean, and that's in an, one of the modules as, a, as an introduction to artificial intelligence. Uh, some of the other stuff is, is things like human computer interaction, again, a module that's being delivered. Very current, very, very, very relevant. Um, they, you know, we're, we're talking about how do, we, how do we remember things, how do we interact with technology, how do we present uh, technology and systems to people in a way that's really easy to use. One of the things that I did was I got involved with the Computer Science Society um, and that's kind of, uh, that's brought, uh, given us a, a common ground, uh, you know, barring the age difference um, with a lot of the younger students. And that's actually been really great. Uh, I've gotten onto the committee for the Computer Science Society now and, um, and have, a, have a group of friends that I, I spend most of my time at campus with anyway. Um, and yeah, so feel quite integrated within the, within the community at, at Aston um, and, that's been, and that's been pretty good. Engineering and Applied Sciences as a whole uh, tries to give you as much real world programming experience as you can. So the society obviously has the very social sides of it uh, but there's also, we do things like running revision sessions, peer-led revision sessions on a, uh, before all of the exams. That's proved to be, to be really well received and, and quite helpful. Both for, both for the people running the sessions as well as the, the people obviously attending. Um, we engage in different software development projects, like one of the things that we have on the go at the moment is uh, electronic swipe access to our society room, doing some uh, Raspberry Pi with uh, swipe card access using our, our university access cards, building a, a mechanical switch. Um, so kind of very, very relevant real experience that anyone in the society can, can be involved in. The Engineering and Applied Sciences Department run uh, as an active software engineering company which employ, employs current students to do work on paid projects. Um, so some are internal and some are external. I'm working on a project for forensic linguistics um, and that's actually a real life software development experience. Um, and. Pretty much anyone who's doing a computer science degree can, can be involved in that. In fact, there are a number of people that are, have been working on that and within the company for the last three years um, who have kind of used that in lieu of an industrial placement because the, the real life stuff is, is, is right there. It is, a, it is kind of a doorway to, to lots of, of different things, but um, what we do at Aston, I think, really differently from a lot of the other universities is we're very much about industry links. Uh, what does industry expect you to know and um, we do things in group projects which give you within the academic environment a uh, very very real world experience how do you work in teams how do you manage projects how do you uh, deliver software within the constraints that really prepare you for for what your job is going to be like